I'm Pastor Dave Peters, a pastor of Bethel Baptist Church here in Amherst, Virginia. And I'd like to introduce you to David Smelts and his wife Susan. I've known them for many years, and for about 30 years, and they're members of our church. Uh, and uh, Dave and Susan are, are doing mission work now in the Ukraine and Russia, uh, the Philippines and Indonesia. And I'd like to recommend them to your church. The, uh, Dr. Smelts has a, a pastor for many years, and, uh, and the Lord called them uh, five years ago to the mission field. And they came to our church, been members of our church now, and they do as much as they can here at the church to be a blessing and encouragement to us. And I highly recommend his ministry to your church. And you can feel free to call me if you need uh, more information or anything about his ministry you'd like to know. Uh, you call me here at uh, Bethel Baptist Church at 946-2400, and I'll be glad to help you in any way I can. God bless you, and I hope that you'll be using David and Susan in your ministry. In the Father's house today, lots of food on his table, and no one is turned away. There is singing and laughter as the hour. Push away from the table, look out through the window pane, just beyond his house of plenty, lays a field of golden
within the communities. Я думаю, що коли вони почали зростати, наростати з більшою силою в тому суспільстві, that they prayed more. Вони сильніше починали молитися. Because probably sometimes when they met, тому що мабуть, коли вони зустрічалися, some of those who had become believers, деякі з тих нововіруючих людей, were no longer present. Уже не приходили, чи були відсутніми на якісь їхні зустрічі. Were present with the Lord. Але де вони були в той час? Вони вже може були Господа. Now notice this apostles' doctrine. Дивіться, наука апостольська тут сказано. What do you think apostles' doctrine is? Що ви думаєте, це таке? Lots of food on his table, and no one is turned away. There is singing and laughter as the hours pass by. But a hush calms the singing as the Push away from the table, look out through the window pane, just beyond this house of plenty, lays a field of golden grain, and it's ripe unto harvest, but the reaper Good morning, Brother Chris. How are you this morning? I'm 
doing fine, Dave. How are you? I want to tell you that we have had a wonderful time with you at New Beginnings Baptist Church, and it has been such a blessing to Susan and I. And uh, I, I'm, I really want to try to help you, if I can, to build a CR. Now, can you tell our folks what a CR is? Well, the CR is the Filipino version of the bathroom. Okay, and you need a CR for all those youngins and, and that school and college that you have there. And uh, what do you think it's going to take to build a CR? We're looking at about $8,000 total. We're okay. Gonna, it's got to be equipped with uh, showers and, and, and toilets and sinks as well. Okay, now I understand now that you're going to be going on furlough next year, good Lord willing, right? Yes, so what our goal is, is I'm planning on coming back in 2013 to be with you and I would like to be able to bring it as much as I can to help you to build those CRs so can you in a, just a few minutes here just take a couple minutes tell our folks uh, a little bit about your ministry how long you've been here in the field uh, and what God is doing we came, we've been missionaries since 1995 we moved here in 1997 and uh, we've started a couple of different churches, and the church we're working with now is New Beginnings Baptist Church in Dakota. Uh, we have a Bible college. We also have a deaf church within our ministry and a deaf Bible institute. Uh, we house our students. Um, we have started uh, mission churches now in the mountains with our graduates, and we're partnering with them to try to assist them to start more churches and schools uh, in the mountains among the people there. And uh, we are preparing to come back uh, next year on furlough, and uh, we look forward to a great time in the States, and uh, even looking forward, forward to coming back here and doing more work for the Lord. Thank you, Brother Chris. We're going to do our best on our part through His Word of Truth Ministries to see if we can help you. And I'm looking forward. Now, this has been my second time with you, and uh, this time we really got to spend some time together and get to know your family, and you've got to know us, and it's been a blessing, brother. And I just want to tell you how much we love you and Amy and Caleb and Andrew, and we're looking forward to seeing you next year when you come home on furlough. Amen. We appreciate y'all coming and giving your life and time to us as well. Thank you, Brother Chris, and God bless. Thank you.